this is Deanne Rice at DeanneRice.com and I am going to show you today in this short little video how to use Pinterest. Now I thought this was a really neat site. My daughter-in-law showed it to me over the weekend and Pinterest is really a bookmark. It, that's all it is. But I don't know about you, but I have trouble finding some of the things I bookmark sometimes. I have a lot of bookmarks here. Um, you know, here's your ebooks I like. But the thing about Pinterest that makes it different from these bookmarks is it's like bulletin boards that you get to put sticky notes on. And so there's pictures. So I'm going to go over here and just show you my Pinterest. And here I've got, you can name your bulletin boards anything you want. And I have plugins, social networks, blogs, uh, internet marketing tools, and I have pictures so I can remember um, what they are. Now, a lot of people use it for crafts and for recipes, and you can do that too. You can see I've just gotten started. Here's one that is a blog that I wanted to go back to, and it's how to write a killer blog comment. And if you click on that, it takes you over I'm like, here, and you can actually write um, a little description. So if the picture doesn't tell you exactly what you want, you can write a description. And here is the blog where it's at. So I can just click this and go to that blog. So here we are at this blog on how to write killer blog comments. Now let me just back up a little bit and go back to Pinterest and show you how to uh, get an invitation and get logged on. Now for this you have to have an invitation. You can press this button right here in order to get an invitation or I can send you an invitation. Now my experience is that when you click this button it takes several days to get an invitation from Pinterest. So my recommendation would be to go ahead in your comment, leave a request to me that you would like an invitation. Make sure you use your um, email address that you want the invitation sent to and I'll send you an invitation. After I send you the invitation you get an email saying you've been invited. In the email is a link. And that link takes you to here. It says, congratulations, you've been invited to join Pinterest. I am going to sign up with Twitter. You can use Facebook or Twitter. This screen will come up and you need to say authorize app. And this will happen every time you sign on to Pinterest with Twitter. So create a Pinterest account. It brings your picture over. I'm just going to go ahead and use this and create an account. Here you can choose the areas where you might like to follow people. One place you might want to do it is technology. I don't know. Um, prints and posters might be another. So follow people there. It automatically follows people for you. You can unfollow these people anytime you want. So it's not that big of a deal. So then you go to create your boards and they already have some boards here for you. We're just going to leave those. You can actually go in and uh, say I want this to be blogs and change it. Create your boards. Now, what you do is you take this. This is what I wanted to show you. You need to take this, drag it up to your bookmark bar right there, and add it. You can see I already have one. Now I have two Pinterest accounts. I'm going to delete this one. Now when you go someplace that you want to add something, you can go ahead and start pinning. Um, but what the deal is, is say I, I have, let's see, where is that blog? Right here. A Barry Wells blog. This is a blog that I wanted to go back to, a post. 
It was on um, Kindle Publishing, and I didn't do it right then, but I wanted to be able to find it, and I don't want to have to go back to his blog and scroll down or search for it and try and remember what month I found it. All you do is click on this. I like this because it shows the Kindle. Here you go. It'll let us um, drop down. I'm going to put this under Blogs. Now, this is the one I just opened, so... Oh, I have to put a description. I'm just going to put Kindle for right now. I might write something more if I was doing it. I'm going to put pin it. Now we're going to go to see your pin. Of course, this will be the only one I have pinned because I haven't done it on this one before. And there it is. And if I go into here... Okay, and here we see I have pinned Barry's, for Barry's blog right there. Now if I click on this, showed you this at the beginning, there I go and it says barry-wells.com and I can just click on here and get to that post. But it's really nice because I can remember what I'm looking for and you can go back through here and look at everything. So you can look at other things that other people have pinned. And that's kind of fun. All the different things they find all over the internet. Um, a pie recipe, banana pie recipe. There's a lot of crafty things and food recipes. But I'm going to use it for my internet marketing. Okay, so I showed you how to use Pinterest as a bookmark in order to find the posts you would like to go back to. This is Deanne Rice at DeanneRice.com.